Hey y'all, Sarah Seaman here, Magic School team member and longtime math educator. With our new updates and computing capabilities, I'm delighted to show you four of the top tools for math teachers in the elementary space. Um, some people know this, but I did a stunt in fourth and sixth grade math at the very beginning of my career. So it has been so much fun to go back and get input from people who are still in that space and dive in to look at some of these top tools to share with you. Quick plug to check the link in the bio for that one pager. But we're gonna get started with the worksheet generator. So I'm just going to grab, and I already have it thrown in here, but just so you know, I just grabbed this common core standard for fourth grade. And what this is, is this is going to be going on measurements and representations, specifically with fractions. So think about a number line and what's the difference between the longest and shortest, things like that. So I just grabbed that entire math standard and dropped it in. And then I also included these two prompts. I said include number lines, and I also said math type for fractions. Now specifically, our systems already know when I'm throwing calculus in to be using math type, but if you want to ensure that we are using math type for some of those fractions or other maths, just make sure you're saying that here and that should make it display really beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. And we should notice here that we have a beautiful worksheet ready to go. And because I gave it that prompt for that math type, those fractions should look lovely. Again, if you are not seeing that math type pop up, do not hesitate to tell it redo this and make it in math type. And usually that cue will go ahead and fix that issue. Also friendly plug that I can go in and I can actually inline edit any of these fractions if I wanted to include a 1 16th. And then I am ready to go and export this into Google Docs to give it to my students. You should also notice that that export is ready to go and in a beautiful editable format. Our next tool we're looking at is Math Story Word Problems. So it's a great way to make things relevant. I'm gonna choose a second grade Common Core Standard talking about a rectangular array. And then my story concept is going to be a Taylor Swift concert. Once I click on Generate, we should realize in a matter of seconds, I have three separate Taylor Swift concert math adventures that all have to do with creating arrays. I could go through and ask for activities. I could ask for an answer key or even hints for students that may struggle with setting up. Again, please note that even if you go through and provide multiple of these, you can export the entire thread or just one single source. My third tool that I'm going to highlight is conceptual understanding. And now this one is super important, specifically as someone who did teach in that upper level space, this conceptual understanding is going to ensure that those students are coming up to that grade level with exactly what they need. So I'm gonna throw a fifth grade standard in here and we're going to get what is the conceptual standard when we're dealing with numbers and operations in base 10. And then I threw in that specific standard, again, Common Core, that's what I'm gonna be working with today. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press Generate. If you wanted to include additional context, such as some of your students struggle with blah, 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 that always, the more you provide, the more specific output this is going to be. I'm given three separate activities that I can use with my fifth graders for conceptual understanding. And I can even play with some of these guys to get a little bit deeper information. Or I can say, can you create a lesson plan on the place value chart activity? In a matter of seconds, I was not only able to dig into what's the big idea of this concept, but also have an entire lesson plan based around it. Our final tool is gonna to be the assignment scaffolder. And I love this because it really breaks this down. I'm gonna use the sixth grade standard and it's going to be about using unit rate to proportionally transfer. In a matter of seconds, I have access to not only objective and vocabulary, but step-by-steps for my students and also practice problems. 
I hope this was helpful for y'all and please make sure to check the link in the bio for that one pager and also follow for more tips and tricks in integrating magic school into your math classroom. Thanks and have a great day.